Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to learn about the webs, how to use WebSockets in Postman. We're going to learn about what exactly is a WebSockets and we're going to see if some of the examples how you can work with Postman and use WebSockets along with it. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, let's jump into it exactly. Let's uh, let us understand what exactly is WebSockets and how do we know it? How, uh, where do we need it, right? So WebSocket, if you know, it's basically a protocol provides a to exchange between data, right? Similarly, similarly, we have STPP, right? STPP is also uh, sockets. Uh, it's basically a protocol which provides you to data exchange between two entities, right? And what happens is that uh, there is a persistent uh, connection between these two entities. So basically, uh, suppose you want this is a client and this is a server, right? Client wants something from server. It will create a persistent connection. Right? So it will basically uh, make a first request and there will be a, now a persistent connection which is called as tunnel sometimes and now the tunnel is created now they can basically communicate bidirectional or unidirectional whenever they want. Right? So WebSocket is basically a, uh, is able to uh, create a what we call a persistent connection between the entities so that communication can happen or data can transfer. Okay, So uh, if you see here example we have a client which is you and here is the uh, server you can have a persistent connection now you can have communication whereas if you do stpp we have request so connection is not persistent i mean you make a request uh, the connection is closed after that server will make a re response request response request response but there is no persistent connection there is no tunnel separately for you right in stpp so that's what i exactly differentiate in the differentiate this uh, in from the uh, traditional stpp right so web sockets are important and uh, uh, let me give you a very simple example like if you have seen any website which is continuously updating like stock website stock website if you have opened a uh, robin hood or other website right they use uh, extensively web sockets because uh, within seconds their transactions are going on right so they have a, they should have uh, a persistent connection to uh, exchange the data in real time okay so if you want more real time uh, re response and connections or data transfer the web sockets are very uh, important in that case okay so data uh, can be passed in both directional with low latency right and overhead and without breaking the connection you don't have to break every time like in stpp uh, web socket also provide uh, bi-directional so client server server client both can e exchange data full duplex communication uh, through the tcp connection socket available right so let's do one thing let's jump into the postman and see how we can do it okay yeah okay so let me pull up my postman now okay so no logs are level it's okay awesome so uh, we have this uh, couple of apis a couple of uh, uh, web sockets uh, available so if you see uh, in stpp we make a stpp colon and after that is forward side forward side right in web sockets we use wss which is web sockets so if this is an uh, web socket so if you have a new make sure you have a new postman you can go to up about and make sure you have more than eight because then only you will see this option click on uh, this web web socket request right you can enter the url now you will see it's a little different you don't have a option to send it's basically the first first thing is connect right so you will connect you will basically create a tunnel now the tunnel is created if you see a green icon right now uh, here i can type hello hi i am Prabhupada, and now i can send this message so client is sending the message to server now server will respond back if you see this is the server which is respond back in a similar so it's just a simple api of it basically uh, it's a simple uh, web socket i mean to say it basically just reply reply back to you similarly we have a chat room also suppose uh, this is one of the example of uh, postman so where what's happening is uh, if you connect to this it will basically continuously sending the data in a json format if you say uh, this is for a iot devices so all the iot devices which are connected uh, to bluemix uh, it basically returning so if you see continuously data is coming right if you see joystick center all the things right so someone is making basically changing the values and all and it's continuously sending you data right it's so we have a persistent connection if you disconnect it no nothing will come right so that's how you can do it so right now you don't have option to save so that's one of the disadvantage 
uh, you can just give it uh, it's a beta right now so that's why you can give feedback as of now so you can play around with this api guys this is another one chat room one i'm gonna click on new again and uh, click on connect and here also uh, connecting so it's basically connecting right now and after connection you can show same uh, it's a very similar to the eco one after connection when you send the data it will reply back to you the same thing okay you can do params if you have a particular param that you would like to add right as of now and headers so headers uh, settings you can have some settings right now so you, after disconnect you can basically add those if you want for example you can add params and all but right now we don't have it so it, it will not work so even with the this thing i think this connection is still connected okay that's fine all right so that's what that was all about it i think that was a short video about how to work with uh, web sockets guys you can play around uh, just note down this uh, note down this i think these are also available in description make sure you check out so that was a quick demo about how to work with uh, web sockets in postman i hope you have learned something new and uh, you was able to grasp what exactly is web socket a persistent connection between client and server and how you can send them using postman right now it's in beta so more feature will come eventually all right so let's uh, i think uh, that's all about that's all about it guys and i hope you have learned something uh this is your host pramod and well and uh, all right bye make sure you like and subscribe